Hello guys, it's the Blue Tremender back with Science Monday. Uh, on the last video, you guys really wanted to see me doing enchanting. First of all, enchanting means actually that you're powering up your items. Items can mean weapons. We can also see that some enchantments don't work on some weapons. You should see here, I got a diamond sword with pain of our our arthropods five. It's really good against spiders, cave spiders, and silverfish. I found out myself that it has a little bit um, against zombies. Zombies take more hits now for some reason. One more hit though, it's not that big a deal. We are going for that, can we enchant the bow? Can we enchant flint and steel? And probably also what you guys really want to know is enchanting a sign. If you play the hostile minimaps. We can enchant tools and the clothes, armor. <laughs> now by doing this, you need of course levels. As you can see, my level is now 93. Now levels you can get by slaying monsters during the night or in caves. Or make an XP grinder where you can like hit kit one hit KO them with your fist. There are a lot of tutorials for that, so I'm not going to show you how. You can also just beat the Ender Dragon, that's how I did it with my levels. I got, you get like over the 100 levels at once. Oh, that's a pain in the ass, you can really defeat him. And if you don't really want to defeat him, it's really a pain in the ass. Because an idiot like Jeffrey jumps in the portal and he needs help because he can't do it alone. Right, so next up is, that's for something later. Alright, maximum bookshelves are 30, but actually means that you have to do bookshelves all the way around like this. Leave one space between the bookshelf and the enchantment table. Uh, and then one hole here so you can walk there. Uh, oh, we don't really need tools. Alright. So, yeah. Also, really quick, just before we start enchanting stuff, you get armor enchanting. Now, this the uh, enchantment that the wiki says. I think there are a lot more, but or some more. Uh, one of them is blast protection, but probably protect you against explosions from creepers and TNT. Pro projectile protection. I have no idea uh, what it is. It works on all armor pieces though. That's what the all AP is. Um, Respire. Respire. What is this for kind of language? Damn it. It's like me sucking at French. Although I don't have French. But it's kind of like French I guess. I have no idea. It only works on the helmet and I have no idea what it is. Uh, we got protection, it just protects you. Fire protection, which will protect you against fire, so it deals less damage. Feather falling, only works on boots, it lowers your amount of damage when you fall down a cliff or something. And aqua affinity, it only works on the helmet and you can stay longer underwater and you can mine, re and you can mine faster. And for the swords, you got sharpness, smay, Bane of Arpados, Looting, Fire Aspect, and Knockback. Sharpness, it deals more damage, I believe, to the mobs. Smite, I'm just really no idea. Bane of Arpados, uh, that's this sword, it's stronger against Spider Escape, Spider Silverfish. And I guess I... That's just a theory of my own. I, I found it out. <clears throat> I have no idea if it is true, or they just uh, hired up the the uh, high amount the hit points of the zombies and the armor because zombies do have indeed like half half a thing of armor I've no idea. Looting is that you get more loot whenever you kill a monster fire aspect is that you can set mobs on fire and knockback is really awesome you can knock back your enemies by just hitting them instead of sprinting and knock them back uh, yeah, as you see, enchanting gifts or enchanting items gives them a power boost. Tools. 
One is efficiency, it will mean you mine faster. Silk touch. I have no idea what it does. I didn't really hear much about it. Unbreaking, it lasts longer. And fortune, you will mine more. Um, more ores at the time. Like more diamonds and shit. I guess you probably know. The maximum level where the source is 94. For the armor is 69. And for the tools is 111. That I know for now what I wrote on the wiki. But without further ado, let's go to the enchanting. As you can see, if you right click uh, on the enchantment table, you get this screen. You should see you see like these really weird numbers floating up to the enchantment table. Uh, that will mean that you get the enchant or that uh, the levels are higher. As you can see, it's like not really that much. You see, that doesn't work. But what you can use is like if you use stacked items, you can see uh, <clears throat> you can click it. Sorry, guys, but I talk a little bit. <coughs> uh, I just woke up. Well, I just woke up. I just woke up like an hour ago. It's like um, 30 plus 7 or something. I feel like, alright. I, I'm not really, I don't feel tired, but my voice is a bit tired because I recorded like a few other videos and yeah. As you can see you got like random enchantments and of course how lower the enchantment, how worse it is. Oh, that doesn't mean everything because level 9 was sharpness 1. Well, it kind of does. This one was level 53, I believe. And it has only Bane of Arpilos. Now, it's able to get more enchantments, but you can't enchant the uh, item a second time. So, you just have to hope that you get the uh, more things like Knockback and and this one, the Bane of Arpilos. Alright, so, what you guys probably want to know is, no, you can't enchant sign or bows. You can also not enchant Flint and Steel. And if I cheat myself a sign in, you can also not enchant a sign. Fetch, how the hell did you do that? <laughs> you can upgrade tools like this. Uh, level 12, unbreaking. Like this is pretty cool. Uh, let's go for high enchantment. Efficiency 3. What kind of. So it mines way faster then. Unbreaking efficiencies. Look, there was where I, there was I there. This is something I was looking for. A double enchantment. As you can see, I got unbreaking and efficiency. So this axe is probably pretty fun, pretty good. I also got a helmet here. Uh, let's maximum enchanted protection and aqua infinity. Now, this is something I really want to test out. Is the aqua infinity looks uh, if it really works so. If I am able to stay longer on the water and mine faster. So let's really quick go to a pool of water. I just had, I need to have one over there somewhere. But I don't really use it. So this one, this little one Jeffrey made. Oh, dang it! Game mouse blue chairman zero. All right, for everybody who didn't know, that's how you would do that. All right, so let's see if we can mine faster underwater. Like first, first see how we normally do it. Broke. All right. Let me do that again with some light, so you guys are 100% able to see it. Uh. Alright, now let's do that again. Okay. Also look at the air bubbles. Alright, so I'm working, 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 working. Broke dirt. Now this dirt is of course the fastest one. But if we go out now, uh, I put on the helmet. You will see I mine a lot faster with my hand. 
and that's basically pretty damn good. And also you can see that the bubbles are slightly, not that much, but slightly going slower. At least I think they do, so I'm not sure about that. But it seems like they're going really slow, let's say go a little bit slower. What means we can actually easily break this. Uh, well, you see that? I mean, how fast it goes with efficiency. Just underwater efficiency and this mining hell or this helmet. Just a lot. Ow. Right now I'm going around. <laughs> uh. Right. Um, that was basically it for now. Uh, now I have no idea how the hell he did the sign upgrade, the veg guy. I really want to know that, so I don't know if he's watching this video. Probably not, but if he is. And please let me know how the hell you did that. Do you use like a little mod or something? That enchants signs? Or was it like in the 1.93 release? When signs or when uh, it wasn't stable and such? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, what does this... Unbreaking. Alright. As you see. Uh, let me really quick try to, or not try to, but let me really quick get a iron pick. This is how you normally hit dirt. And this is how a boss hits dirt. Just one click it. Oh yeah. Right, so let's test it also on with wood. Just on rare, or just logs. Uh, Imagine you have a tree here. <clears throat> right, so this is the tree. <laughs> it's the most beautiful tree I've ever seen. Right, so we got on this unbreaking inefficiency. So a normal tree. Why did I spawn myself more long? Right. Normally, I didn't want to do that. I want to have an axe. Right, normally you should put that. Alright. Normally you should just cut it away like this with an iron pick. Or an iron axe. But it isn't much of an efficiency at all. But keep in, ma keep in mind that it's only efficiency 2. And this efficiency 3. I don't know, maybe it mines faster for wood. Does it raise does it seriously mine faster through no. It does mine really fast wood, so you can have like one item. <laughs> if it was unbreaking then it should look pretty good. Uh I don't have really much to show you anymore, I guess. Well yeah, only uh, the enchanted tools, sharpness. Well chicken will die in one hit anyway, so let's test it. Die. Uh, I don't really see animals around, but that's probably because it's night time. <sighs> oh wait, the uh, pig spawner. Yes, thanks science. Just thanks science that I placed that spawner down there. For some science. <laughs> I normally pigs will get two hits, I guess. I'm just saying I'm not sure about every single thing I say. But that's something I guess with an iron egg or iron sweet just check. I not him because oh my god, Hero Brines! Die you evil beasts! No no stand still damn it. Right, you see? Uh two hits. With sharpness whoa, seriously? Oh. Uh, well it's kinda random, I guess. Okay. Right. Well, I guess we shouldn't really test it out on pigs, and it's only sharpness one, so it doesn't really do that much more damage. All right, I'm joking. Come away, this. Those hero brine pigs freak me out. Monsters are awesome. I can't really show it on that, but ah, uh, 
I think I proved my point that that's like a random amount of damage it deals to a mob. Uh, I guess it's around 10 to 20% more damage efficient or sharpness one. So imagine if you have like one of it or five, it probably deals between 80 and 100. And as you saw, some picks are one hit KO. That's probably when I got the full 20%. Uh, this is something I guess, of course, I'm not 200, I'm not sure about it, but <clears throat> I'm just thinking that, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this Science Monday, and if you want to see something next week, leave in the comments what you want to see, uh, I have redstone left, uh, as testing room, where I just probably gonna show off the basics of redstone is up there. But if you want to see something else, maybe like slime farming or such. Well, why did I say that? I'm probably all guy. Oh, you guys gonna probably see slime farming now? I'm gonna comment it, and I have to do a lot of fucking work. Cause I, <laughs> well, anyway, I also did this was a lot of work with some friends. So maybe I can do like a basement a little lab where I slime or make slime farm. Keep in mind that it isn't really a big thing. I just see how to <laughs> how to farm slimes and lower them in one place and kill them. And also what the best places for them to do that. Shit. Breaking for leaves like a boss. Right, I hope you guys enjoyed the Science Monday. I'm a game developer, so please check out my uh, my channel. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave in the comments what you want to see next time, and it could be everything except me uh, walking naked in front of the camera. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Science Monday, and I see you guys next time. Bye, guys.